We embrace the bad. We don't escape from it. We love it. We hold it. We cherish it. We deal with it as if it's our friend. I know that that's not always easy to do, but my point is this. Figure out a way to do it. Figure out a way to make it yours. Figure out a way to make it part of your case. Ladies and gentlemen, my client went down there right away and gave the DNA. He didn't hesitate for one second. Ladies and gentlemen, he pulled out his penis. He masturbated into a, into a glass. How embarrassing was that? And then he gave the DNA, right? Because he knew, he knew that that was important to do. And that's what innocent people do. Masturbate into a cup, give their semen. <laughs> I don't know. That one just came into my head and later on the tape. <laughs> I'm never running for president now. Uh, all right, let's talk about another cool principle. How long do I have? Four minutes probably? Don't tell me. Am I okay? I love this one. Ever have to deal with hearsay evidence that you hate? Just hate it? it this, is, this is a broad principle. Sex cases, yeah, but I'm going to just use it as a broad principle. We can pare it down to sex cases if you want, but I, I like this. There's a psychological study that was done years ago. I believe it was out of Colorado, but I, I, I tried to find it last night, but I couldn't find it without the uh, access to the, the, the library. Um, the university library codes at home. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, this study was really cool. It basically said this. Jurors that hear hearsay evidence will view it exactly as regular evidence without degrading it at all once it comes in. So Bob tells Sarah, uh, an excited utterance, it comes in, they fully accept it as evidence, and it has 100% value, 100%. Okay, you got the scenario? However, what they found was, if you termed it something different, it dropped in tremendous value. It dropped in value. And the phrase, believe it or not, that some group of psychologists who have kept this a secret and aren't sharing with us, is the phrase secondhand knowledge. Uh, now, Officer Jones, you testified here today that you... Uh, you got some information from the witness, yes. And that person gave that information to you secondhand, didn't they? No, they told it to me directly. Well, sir, you weren't there. No, I wasn't there. You didn't see it. No, I didn't see it. So you're getting it secondhand. This is secondhand information. 